so then that's when I first got into it. Up until then, I'd just been fooling around. And, uh, I think it's got in here when I went. went. But uh, uh, I went in uh, across the channel on a uh, landing craft tank, LCT. And the. Uh, I ain't got in here when I went to Rome. There were, we had a bulldozer with a trailer full of TNT on that uh, landing craft. And we had a. Uh, 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 two cranes on there uh, and then a bunch of jeeps and trailers and, and when uh, uh, we sat off, off the beach there and watched the smoke and stuff blowing up on, on the beach there and, and our, our, the Navy was out there and they were taking out some of the bunkers that, that were up there waiting for the guys I think that's what saved the day, actually, because they were killing them like flies up there when they yeah. come in on Omaha Beach. But I didn't go in until uh, in the afternoon, and all the uh, uh, machine guns were knocked out by then. But the artillery was live and well. Well, these uh, two cranes we had on the LCT, they never got out of the water. They uh, uh, started in and... and uh, and the, uh, uh, the one shot where they get him with the first shot knocked out both these cranes before they ever got out of the water. The, tra the bulldozer with the TNT, that got up on the beach and was moving maybe 200 yards away from me when, when uh, they hit that. And the bulldozer now disappeared. And that uh, they were, had a trailer full of TNT. Well, one thing, you know, you don't say much about it, but, but uh, what I found out, uh, it was... Uh, so many dead on the beach. That was the bad part. Out in the water and up on the beach. Yeah, and yeah. And then, uh, uh, when I, well, I, you know, I was thinking, uh, it was the tide was out when I landed, and so I could just walk, wade in. It wasn't uh, not even up to my knees in yeah. water. And uh, I get out uh, on the edge, and here was a landing craft, all busted up, that got destroyed earlier on and here was three pistol belts with 45s hanging on the corner of this busted up yeah. landing craft and we were medics we weren't allowed to carry firearms so I scooped up those three pistols so from then on I was armed and uh, I gave uh, one to each of my buddies and, and so they, they but you know they had uh, we weren't supposed to be have any firearms and uh, they had uh, uh, shakedowns many times during the summer uh, looking for those guns. I know that's what they were looking for. But we didn't keep them. We hid them out in the brush, took those rubber gas masks and put them in there. Yeah. And then that, yeah. we let, I hid them out in the brush. the cigarettes. And I finally sold up mine for 20 bucks. But you tell about, your, yeah, you come in on the LCTs and that, you know, we went into Africa they didn't have them. We went in on the Higgins boats. They're wooden. Oh, yeah. And the sad part of that was when we went in, we went in on a coral beach. And when they hit the coral beach, well, then the boat ripped them up, busted up. The plywood There boats. was no more boat to be had. Well, that was a tough Now, they used Sagan's boats there, too, but uh, I, I went in on the landing craft tank, the LST. And uh, but some of the jeeps and trailers made it, but the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, Big items, they got all of them yeah. with the artillery. They were really good. I tell you, I got respect for them right away there because they'd hit with one one shot. I think one of the easiest landings you had when you went in southern France. You just walked in there. There wasn't much there. Now we kept them pretty busy up the line there. There was uh, plenty in behind it, but, but not, uh, not going in. Uh, that's where they're kind of funny and all they uh, I told I don't know who it was I was telling somebody about but uh, the bombs breaking on the water you know and shooting gu gushing in the air but when, when they're going in I took a I, t I took the pictures that I got them in there I think yeah and yeah. with that it's little camera shoot a water yeah. coming up and, and anyway when they come out with these here and uh, these magazines and they put them in shit they must have copied mine because they got the same goddamn thing. Somebody took the same <laughs> picture. Yeah. And, uh, but we, uh, uh, 
stayed uh, right on the beach, and then we set up a tent hospital, like uh, if you watch the sitcom <coughs> MASH, that's kind of what we had there on Omaha Beach. And, and then there was air evacuation. We'd, when they were fit to move the wounded, we'd to put them on an airplane, fly them off to uh, England. Uh, we had one time on Angio, we had a kind of a trying time. I didn't tell you the last time I got hit in the arm. The uh, 57 of us went out on a firefight, and they had ammunition dumping a machine gun nest to take out. And anyway, on the 57, I think 11 of us came back. I don't know what happened to the rest of them. Did they were captured? I don't know. But I, I got hit through the arm that night. And anyway... Was that from the machine gun you took out that you got hit? When, yeah. When you knocked out the machine gun? Yeah, well, anyway, we tossed it, got close enough. They, they was giving them hell from the front, and we were, and we had orders to come from the front. Well, shit, I was one of them that went around from behind, two of us went from behind. We rolled a couple of hand grenades in there, and you got awful quiet after that. So that was the end of that. But then you were already, they already hit you. That's what you had, had already been hit. Four yeah. holes through your steel yeah. jacket? Yeah. Well, anyway, I was three days before I got disoriented, and I was by myself, and I was three days behind the lines, and, oh, I think I, I think sometimes some of them were within five, six, six, seven feet of me, soldiers, you lay in there, boy, in the goddamn brush and the grass over you, you don't even dare fart, you know, and for any day to go away, you take a deep breath, and you're kind of looking, and there was no sun, and anyway, the sun did peek out a little bit, and he decided which way, that's the way you laid. And when it got dark, well, you start going that way. You know, that was back to it. Well, when I got back to my own, I didn't come in on my line. I come in on the A company. And when I come in, why, you're supposed to know the password, you know. They, they it was hours, after three days, you didn't yeah, know every, what the password was anymore. Every, every 24 hours, they changed that. They hired today, and that's George, and you hire Washington. So on and so forth, and John Henry, oh, so what? Well, anyway, that night I hollered John Henry, I hollered John, and the son of a bitch, he opened up machine gun for you, son of a, I, I knew I was an American, a goddamn son of a bitch, I was accustomed to the way, you know, and I told him, I said, you know, I said, I've been behind the lines, goddamn me, I'm back in there, and they shoot again. Finally, one of them says, identify yourself. And I said, I can do that. And I didn't know. They asked the password, and I told them. I said, I don't know. I've been three days out here. And then I didn't have nothing to eat. And worse of all, they didn't have no cigarettes. That was really bothering me. And anyway, when we were in Washington, before we went over, this free tag, the same one that was eating this at the steak with me when the war broke out. He had no, I think they called it a 620 camera box camera, uh -huh. and there's a dirigible went over, and he took a picture of that. He says, I wonder how that, if that'll turn out. It did. And I said, well, if it's A, I told him it's A company. I said, I know a free tag in there. Ask him if he still got a picture of that dirigible. He said, that's old Merrill. He said, I know him. So then they let you come in without shooting you, huh? Yeah. Then what they do, they, they do, they cut the goddamn jacket off, and the son of a bitch, they take a stick and they had to run that son of a bitch through my arm. That was worse than what I had. They took the cleaning rod and yeah, run it through the bullet hole. Yeah, that was what I had before. They, they wouldn't give me a cigarette, and they throwed me down, but after a while, then they gave me a cigarette. Okay, uh, you were, uh, is this where you went to the hospital then with malaria? Yeah. yeah then after that, I got the malaria and I went to the hospital. Well, I had that bandage on my arm then. That's when Jinx came to see me. We never did get us purple heart either. Yeah. I went down. I got our our company uh, headquarters got knocked out, you know, and they never got never got on record. So the uh, yeah the, the medics and whoever it was, why well, either they got destroyed or but they never reached that far. That's all right. I'm here. That's that's all. That's all the all the record. All the metal I need. But anyway, I was down there, and Ernie come down to see me. And I wrote a letter. I, I couldn't write. I was out. And anyway, well, before that, I was. I, I passed out. And uh, before I got that, it was 23rd. That's just from the malaria. Yeah, that, that was on the angio. 